is going to be all about my hair, how I style it, how I apply it, my clip-in extensions. My natural hair is incredibly short. It has a lot of random layers to it, and I add in clip-ins every day to make it look like this. And it takes me no time at all. I've kind of gotten it down to a really quick and easy process. So I'm gonna take you guys along step by step. So let's get into it. So getting started, here is my natural hair without extensions. The length is fine. Like I'm into the bob moment, the lob moment, but the situation that's happening is this triangle event that has been taking place. Well, on my head since 2014, but it just reminds me of like early 2000s pop punk MySpace photos for sure. Um, I don't know how this happened, but it has not changed in seven years. So we're gonna fix it with a quick solution of extensions because that's what I have going on on both sides. This side's a little bit more even. Basically, I just let my hair grow out a little bit and then I trim it to try to um, even it up. I have a bunch of layers. I just got a lot of bad haircuts five or six years ago and my hair does not grow at all like it's grown this much in five years and that could be a whole separate video but this is the temporary solution i did have hair um tape and extensions for two years but then during the beginning of quarantine i took them out myself i've been at home for the last year and i don't want to pay two to three hundred dollars every six weeks to have hair extensions for nobody to see them so we are using clip-in extensions and these clip-in extensions i have not heard anybody else talk about them i've had them for five years these are the same extensions i wore to my wedding in june 2016. um one pack cost 114 dollars for the 14 inch the 18 inch is about 140 dollars. i have a 14 inch and for my hair, hair this short, you're going to want to get two packs and I wear about a pack and a half. When my hair was a little shorter, like right here in the beginning of quarantine, um, I would wear even more extensions, but I've slowly um, started wearing less. So I always put in this much hair. It is seven large pieces and four um, one inch sections. So I highly recommend those extensions. I've had them for half a decade, about $200 investment and it's going to get you through a really long time and the extensions are available at sally's i'll have them linked below you can heat style them wash them treat them just like regular hair so before i even put in the extensions i always just straighten my natural hair so that it has like a smooth base for the extensions and you definitely want a little bit of texture with your natural hair to help the extensions blend better and all look like one head of hair so it's all like the same texture um, so one thing I love is the dry shampoo from Bumble and Bumble. This smells amazing. It doesn't leave like a weird residue or stickiness or anything like that. It actually helps make your hair feel very like fresh and it adds a little bit of texture as well. So I apply that into my root and then also I love the IGK Good Behavior as a heat protectant. So I'll style my hair with this and then when I brush out the extensions, after using them because I've, I had them curled beforehand and then I re-straighten them. I'll spray this onto this and I'll use this for any kind of my fake hair and it just smooths it out and makes it super shiny. So this is really great to just have like a really sleek look and it's also great heat protectant. So I just start by putting my hair up and I leave a little bit out. And because my hair is shorter, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck the back. I'm actually gonna tuck a little bit more and just use a little bit at the very back here and this part is going to be hidden and tucked when you have above the shoulder hair or yeah basically my hair length or shorter you're going to want to do this and i just grabbed two bobby pins and i'm just going to put this up and you're going to want to do this if you have shorter hair like i do because a lot of times those pieces can pop through um, I realized I stopped doing this a little recently because my hair's gotten like an inch longer in the last two months. But I definitely noticed that you can tell in my videos that my natural hair is coming through this way and then I have long extensions in the back. So I just tuck it like this and that's going to help 
that hair stay in place. It's never come down in the middle of the day or anything. So then I start off with a three clip piece and you want to make sure this one's a little bit shorter. All of my extensions were cut by a stylist for my wedding <laughs> five years ago. And I just made the same thing work ever since. I just clip that into the back of my head and I'll hide that little piece that I tucked. You want to make sure your first piece is a little shorter because it's going to be the lowest and any other piece on top of that can be a little bit longer since it's going up higher. So already at certain angles you can see the potential before I do the rest of it. So I just go above my ears for the next piece and I just leave out a decent amount of hair. So for the next layer, I grab two three-piece sections, three-clip sections, and these are a little bit shorter. I do overlap them. I just work with what I have. You can kind of customize to your own head, how much volume you want, how much length you want. And then I just repeat that again with the next layer of hair, two more three inch pieces or three clip pieces. I always make sure to get like really close to the front of my head because that's where I want to make sure I have a lot of thickness and volume because that's where I'm missing the most volume in my hair. Now once we start getting to the top I have a little bit of a mullet situation. So the next piece is going to be a one, just one piece instead of two. And that piece is going to be bigger and I put that basically like a crown around my head. So for the very front pieces, you can see these sections kind of go a little bit at an angle. That makes it look a lot more natural. You definitely want to style and shape up the front sections of your hair. You don't necessarily need to do the rest. Um, with time over the past five years, like this used to be a very thick piece and I can probably order some new extensions sooner than later, but it makes it look a little bit more natural where it kind of, um, falls like real hair instead of like super, super thick. And then the two last pieces I put right behind that to kind of disguise this bulky section and make sure it has some length. So those are all the extensions in and you can definitely leave it like this if you have hair like mine where there's a lot of volume on top and then it fizzles out. Definitely put texture spray so that your extensions part that doesn't have as much volume as the top will um, be a little bit fuller so it doesn't start to get flat and you don't see this weird volume and then no volume. But what I do to blend everything better is some flat iron curls. I do flat iron curls because I don't have a curling iron. I might have one that's old, but I honestly don't know how to use it very well. It just seems a little time consuming with the whole glove and I feel like I'm gonna burn myself. So I just do some flat iron curls. These are how I've been curling my hair for years and I just kind of repeat that throughout my whole head. I do put in my natural hair along with it and then I just kind of manipulate and curl my natural hair and blend it in and kind of twist it and fold it into the extensions. Like I'm gonna go back and curl this section a little bit more. So I just go around my whole head and do that and then I'll go back and touch up wherever it needs it. And then I finished my hair with a few different products from The Way. And I love their pomade. I've used it for years, especially because I have really broken pieces up here. Like this bang is just like weird dead end all the way at the top of my head. So I like to blend it together with this. I kind of just rub it into the top of my hair and kind of seal the dead ends and blend it with the extensions and kind of bind 
everything together. So next I have the Way Texture Spray. This smells like a perfume. It smells like super floral. I'll focus this towards the ends of my hair too. Just to blend and add every little bit of volume. I don't always apply all of these products, but if I'm really wanting like a lot of volume, this is what I apply, but I never go without the pomade. Like I can't finish my hair without that. That's the number one. And then I'll do the texture spray. I'll do a little bit of the way hair oil. It's my favorite. It's a very lightweight oil. I'll just apply that to the ends and make my hair a little shinier. And then if for some reason my hair looks really flat um, or anything like that, I just want a lot more volume. I like this volume hairspray by Mark Anthony. It's a coconut scented hairspray. I love all things coconut. Really, really great hairspray. It's also great for extra hold or I'll just like spray a little bit in my fingertips and then apply it right here around my bangs where my natural hair and my extensions meet. All right, so that is how I fully style my clip-in extensions, kind of just using what I have, the products that I've been using for years, the tools that I have. I'm sure there's some other things that I could do with different um, hot tools, but this is just the one that I have and how I use it. So I'm gonna link everything up below. I cannot recommend these extensions enough. Like I said, I've had them for half a decade going strong and a bit more affordable than some other similar style extensions. So everything will be listed in my description box. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.